Chuck Fresh, who used to be the PCGYN, but I'm not allowed to be that anymore, with Computer Care Clinic, and this is your tip of the day. Today we're going to talk about the iPhone and Siri, some of the amazing things that you can do that you may not have been aware of. Uh, if you're just starting out with an iPhone or an iPad, that Siri, the automated assistant, the artificially intelligent assistant, can do for you to help you in your day-to-day -day activities. Now, if you're already an expert on iPhones and iPads and Siri, then you want to skip past this video, look at something else. But if you're just starting out, you may find some of these tips and tricks helpful. Let's take a look. Okay, the best and most helpful way to use Siri is to use its automated voice to text translator that comes with Siri. And to get to that, whenever you open a keyboard, you'll see this little microphone icon. And all you have to do is click that and it initiates Siri's voice to text translation, period. Now, occasionally it'll take a while to recognize your voice and get everything perfect, comma, but still, as you can see, comma, it's pretty darn accurate, period. If you have a strange accent, comma, like New York or New England or even Southern, comma, wow, that was pretty good, comma, then you may have a problem with Siri understanding what you are saying. It does cut you off after a certain amount, but you can always start it again. Just hit the space bar and do it again. I'm not sure if it's a time limitation or whatever. Maybe it thinks you're just, you've hit Siri by mistake, which can happen. And you can type some pretty embarrassing things in there if you don't know it's on. So just keep an eye on Siri to make sure that she is typing only what you want her to type, period. But it is very helpful, comma, especially for those who have physical disabilities and have a hard time typing on a screen, period. Or if you're just out of time, and you need to get those text messages or emails sent quite fast, period. Now what she has typed may not be perfect, but you can edit that fairly easily using the keyboard. Just put your finger or hover your finger on or near the word, and then you can kind of pinpoint the area where you need to correct. You also see some of the things here too, if they don't make sense, they'll be underlined in blue. If something's misspelled, it'll be underlined in red, but Siri never makes any spelling mistakes which is amazing. She just makes hearing mistakes. So you can backspace through this and then type something else in if it puts something in there incorrectly or some words that Siri may not recognize. You can also fix some of your sentences. You can also copy and paste all this stuff too if you want to do that. I threw this in the notes application and I can copy this into a text message or an email using the iPhone's copy and paste feature. So you can see how helpful that would be, especially if you're a person that does a lot of emailing and texting from your phone, because it's a lot quicker than typing. Talking will always be a lot quicker than typing. And you'll see that that's where all of these devices are going. They're going to be controlled by your voice rather than your physical input. Now, an easy way to get to Siri from your home page, all you have to do is hold this button, press it once and hold it, and Siri comes up. You can ask her all kinds of stuff. You know, she will eventually cut you off if it doesn't make sense or when you stop speaking. Who, me? I don't even know what that means. But you can ask Siri to tell you a joke, period. Tell me a joke, Siri. Two iPhones walk into a bar. I forget the rest. And she's not really funny, but they're working on it. But another thing you can do with Siri by just pressing this little microphone key and she'll start listening to you. Siri, I need directions to Winter Park, Florida. Getting directions to Winter Park. And this was a huge help for uh, my mother-in-law who didn't know how to get anywhere. And of course it gives you a little warning to make sure that Siri where the Apple Maps may not be accurate, you may end up driving off a bridge, so you don't want to do that. So it's a caveat emptor, just to kind of keep an eye on things, but it gives you directions. Just by holding that button, you don't have to access the Maps application, it comes up automatically, which is pretty amazing. Uh, Siri can talk to you, can set reminders, just again, by holding that button. Set a reminder for 3 p.m. Okay, just tell me what you want to be reminded about. I'd like to be reminded that I need a very large alcoholic beverage. Okay, I'll remind you. 
and Siri will create a reminder automatically. And this could be a huge help, a time saver, and also a butt saver. If you missed an appointment or something in the past or get an interview or something, you can have Siri do that for you. So that's three really cool things that Siri can do that you may not have tried or been afraid to experiment with. If she can't do something, she'll tell you that. Uh, let's see if I can ask her to do something that I know she can't do. Change my wallpaper. Well, we can't do it, but it brings me up to the settings area where I can change the wallpaper myself. So Siri can't do things. If it can't do it, it'll try to make its best guess as to what you want it to do. There's a couple other things you can change here in Siri. If I can find where they are, I believe it's under general. Yeah, there's a couple of options here under Siri. I can change Siri's voice, and I can also set Hey Siri, similar to what Google has, which is an always on feature that will um, allow your phone to always listen to you. So even if you're a little bit farther away from your phone, as long as it's in the range of your voice, you can say, hey, Siri, and it'll wake up and automatically do your commands without the phone even being on, which is kind of nice. But that kind of freaks me out a little bit because I don't want to do kind of strange things and, and I type things that I really don't want Siri to hear about or you to hear about either. It can be kind of embarrassing. Um, there's a bunch of different Siri voices you can do in Australia. Siri, your virtual assistant. And you can also make Siri a dude if you're tired of the chick's voice. I'm Siri, your virtual assistant. And you can also I'm change Siri, it to British. your virtual assistant. So I'm going to make it a British male, and Siri will now be a British male on my phone from this point forward. So that's kind of neat. So let's try her out. Try him out. Siri, tell me a joke. Let me think. Oh, I didn't even say it. Well, let's try something else I know Siri can do. Siri, what's today's weather forecast? Okay, here's the weather for today. Of course, it doesn't read it to you, but uh, it will give you the weather forecast in your local area. Can you read the weather to me? Okay, here's the weather for today. Well, maybe you can't read it to me, but it's not perfect, but it's coming a long way. And you can see the amazing power of this Siri automatic artificial intelligence thing. And it's getting better with every release of the uh, iPhone uh, operating system software. So um, three great things it can do. It can um, talk to text. It can control your phone and set some reminders. So really, really neat stuff you can do with Siri. So try it out. It works on the latest versions of the iPhones. Almost every version in the last, I guess, four years. And um, also the iPads, too. So have some fun with it. Try it out. My name is Chuck Fresh with Computer Care Clinic, and that's your tip of the day.